Hey everyone, CPO here, and in this video, I'm just gonna go over a really quick thing that I've been sort of playing around with, and I'm kind of excited about it. Wanted to show you. Um, anyway, maybe you're interested, maybe you're not. But, so this here is a dongle that I have plugged into my OBD2 port, and it is running open source tuning firmware. And yeah, so, I'm not going crazy yet, but I am sort of experimenting with the open source tuning world. But first, I'm experimenting with the open source logging world. So the same dongle that could be used for tuning can also be used for logging. And it actually does a pretty good job. So I'm gonna go out and do some logged runs just to see um, what kind of data I get in comparison to what I normally get out of my access port. Uh, there's a couple things I like about this logging option, and I'll tell you about those, but I'll also show you like how to set it up. So um, first of all, it uses Android, and I'm an iPhone user, so I went out and bought this Android tablet. Actually, this is an Android tablet in a like $10 like rugged case, but it's actually a, uh, a Lenovo uh, tablet, $100 tablet. Uh, I like Lenovo because it's fairly bare bones uh, Android. It doesn't have a lot of bloatware. And the application I'm using is called Simos Tools. And there we go. You can see the green bar says it's connected to my dongle. Uh, it uses uh, low energy Bluetooth. And so you have to have a fairly modern uh, Android device in order to get the BLE to work. It doesn't work on some of the older devices. but this $100 uh, thing works. I know some of the newer like Fire tablets have been working, but anyway, yeah, let me let me show you this from a different view. So I don't know if you've seen this before. I sort of put together this tablet mount. It's universal because I also use my iPad in it. So I wanted something that would work with the iPad or as you can see, uh, this tablet. So this is the app that I'm using and um, you can see here I have logging, log viewer, settings, flashing, utilities, and exit. So flashing allows me to actually flash a tune. Right now I'm on an EQT custom tune, but it doesn't mean I can't take advantage of the logging. So if we go to settings here, we can see that I can log in mode 22. If I was using a open source tune, uh, I could use logging mode 3E, which is more verbose, but there's a lot of good data in mode 22. Mode 22 is basically what the uh, engineers that uh, put together the VAG, uh, the Volkswagen Auto Group uh, vehicles said you can have access to in the ECU by default. So those things are um, pumped out and then we just need to take advantage of those. That's you know what we're gonna do here. So I'm also gonna log my DSG, whoops. Uh, and then, hold on, let me go back here. Um, there is a log trigger. So one of the cool things I like about this is I can set a trigger that will either log automatically or log at the push of a button. And this is kind of cool. So what this says is um, C is greater than one. So that means cruise control right here, this little button right here. If I enable the cruise control feature, uh, and you don't have to like turn on cruise control, you just enable it and uh, that will automatically start the logging. Well, that's not automatic, that's push button. But also, or, uh, which is what the pipe symbol is, uh, if the D is greater than 70, which in this case, it's the gas pedal, if that's more than 70% deployed, so if I floor it, for example, if I push it to the floor, it's gonna automatically just start logging. So how many times have you gone out and you gunned it and uh, you had something go funky, and you're like, man, I wish I was logging that one. Well, now you can just have it automatically start logging whenever you do uh, stuff like that. So, so you've got some other options here, like log lead-in, which is how much buffering uh, is going to be captured, and if you do start logging, it will just pre-pin that, and then log in delay, how long after you stop the logging, does it go ahead and finish up? So, uh, mode 22, this is the log data. It's completely configurable including how it's displayed, what measure of units it is, if I want tabs or what have you. So you can have the log output go into, like in this case, I have it go into the downloads directory, and uh, you can import log lists, which makes it super convenient because while you can manipulate 
the logging directly here on the device, including enabling and disabling. Uh, you can set variables like we saw that the D was greater than 70. That's just that variable is set uh, for, uh, for the, the uh, accelerator pedal. So yeah, you can do all of that in here or you can do it as a CSV file and then just import it. So for example, uh, if I'm gonna import a CSV, I can go in here and see different uh, PID lists and that's what I'm gonna end up logging. I've already imported this, so I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, same thing for DSG. And then you can do some interesting things with calculated horsepower. Um, and that can be fine tuned with the car info and your gear ratios and all that stuff is in there. So yeah, um, let's just check out the logging feature right there. So that's default log, the car's off right now, so there's not gonna be anything. Like I said, you can set tabs. Right now they're all just under ECU. Um, and then I have the DSG related stuff right there. So uh, you can easily go through, check this stuff out. Um, if you hold quick view, it will just give you a full screen of the eight uh, first logs on the default screen. And uh, what I like about this also is you can do a quick view, which I'll show you, of if you go pull a log, you can quickly look at it right here in the app instead of having to, you know, offload it. Like what I hate about the access port is I run a log, then I have to go home, then I have to connect it up to my computer, it has to be a Windows computer, it has to have the certain software so that I can pull it off and then I can view the log. Um, here I can just like quick view and take a look at the last log that just happened. So um, that's kind of convenient. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go out and grab a log. Uh, again, this is Simos Tools. Uh, it is free. It's an Android app. And um, yeah, it's been pretty awesome so far. I've been playing with it. Uh, and once I fire up the car, we'll take a look at the logs. Uh, you can control the different types of gauges. You can have round gauges or more or less information, uh, but you can see right there, uh, min-max type stuff as well. So, and you can always long press and reset min-max uh, on any of these if you want to sort of clean it up. I'm in ninth gear, which means I'm going super fast. I think that's representative of park. What is it? reverse is one. Yeah. That's funny. Neutral is nine. So nine is no gear selection. One is the first gear. And then uh, also shows for reverse. But that's just a function of how the DSG is reporting that. But anyway, there's a lot of good information in here. Um, in some regards, like a lot of helpful information, especially like the set points. Like I have, uh, um, you know, fuel pressure for the MPI set point. Uh, direct injector set points, ethanol content. I do have an ethanol sensor going to a gauge. Where are you at? Right here. But if I plug that into my MPI harness, which I already have wired up, I just haven't plugged the ethanol sensor in, I can read the ethanol content right out of the ECU, uh, which is gonna be kind of cool. Um, cruise, so right now it's a zero. Remember I said uh, you can enable logging if cruise is greater than one, so I'm gonna hit that and it goes to two. So I turn that on and off. So even though I'm not actually using cruise control, just turning it on uh, will actually, oops, and, and I'm logging, I'm logging the crap out of things right now. And if I turn it off, logging will stop. So quick view, last log. Uh, yeah, not much there because I'm sitting here idling. Um, but yeah, that's a good example of how you can quickly just log, like just from the steering wheel. Boom, logging, see it turns blue up there at the top. And then I have it set for a two second delay and then it's done. Um, yeah, so let's go pull a real log and see what happens. All right, remember I have it set up so that if my throttle position, my throttle pedal is more than 70%, then it will automatically start logging. So you can watch that green bar turn blue. That's gonna, what's gonna happen there. So I'm not in a great spot to do a full pull, but I'll do a quick little third gear uh, blip for you. Let me push into manual mode. And 
you can watch that happen. Now, the downside of a throttle-based um, trigger for logging or any automatic logging trigger is that the potential is you could end up with a bunch of logs if you're always like messing around. So just uh, FYI on that, you could fill up your storage pretty quickly. Um, yeah, so I'm just waiting for a good opportunity here. All right, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop it to the floor. And that was just a little quick pull. Auto logged it, so you, you saw the, uh, the bar turn blue when it was logging, and then it turned back to green. Uh, and that's because um, it logged itself. So looking at the quick view, you can get a sense of that log instantly. And then of course, um, I don't know exactly yet how to set the parameters, but yeah, it's right there. All right, so uh, this is one of my favorite spots to do a quick pull. So a third gear pull, I'm gonna drop down to 2,500 and to the floor, auto logs to red line. There we go. Quick view. Yeah, we'll go play with that later. So I'm just playing with this, but it looks like the quick view will show the first eight items on any tab. So here I'm in the GSG tab. Quick view is DSG info. Get the glare out of there. There you go. Clutch torques and current. Um, default tab gives you those uh, things. So I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to ECU, quick view, eight. So I think it's pulling eight, uh, the top eight. That means you could probably essentially build a tab just for the, the items, the parameters you wanna see on the quick view page. Uh, I'll have to experiment with that to see, but anyway guys, that's it. Just wanted to run through this with you real quick while I went out and grabbed a log. Uh, super interested in this whole open source tuning and logging thing. If you are into this or interested in it, hit me up in the comments. I'm really curious to see uh, the extent of this community. And I'm EQT tuned, so don't get me wrong, doesn't mean you have to change tunes, but I do like to experiment and tinker, and playing with this has given me a lot to tinker with. It's got a lot of tinker ability. Um, so, and I can keep my tune and still log on top thanks to mode 22. Uh, but if I do decide to flash a new open source tune, which I could do myself or have somebody do for me, uh, then I can get more logging options out of that. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.